Hello, my name's Inspector Peter Ferry. I'm the local policing commander for Haverhill. It's Friday the 10th of April 2015 and this is the latest of our Haverhill Police News Updates. I've got three bits of information for you today. The first one to tell you about is an accosting that's happened in Haverhill yesterday afternoon. At about one o'clock yesterday afternoon, an eight-year-old girl and her six-year-old brother were approached in Layer Road, Haverhill. Um, by a male described as white, skinny, bald-headed, with a tattoo round the side and the back of his neck. He offered to give them 20 pence to go and buy some sweets in a local shop. Obviously the children were quite scared by this and they ran home and told their mum. If you recognise who this person might be, and I'll give you the description again, he's described as white, skinny, a bald head with a tattoo around the side and the back of his neck. If you recognise who that person is, can you ring 101 and ask to speak to PC 1887 Camp? Obviously the male never touched the children, but they were extremely worried by the fact that he came and approached them and he scared them so much that they ran off. So please let us know if you recognise who that male might be in the Layer Road area of Haverhill. Secondly today, there's been a theft from a motor vehicle overnight last night in Pipperall Way, Haverhill. Uh, that happened between 6 o'clock in the evening on Thursday and 10.30 Friday morning, that's this morning. A catalytic converter has been stolen from a Mercedes van in a car park of a firm called Qualitape in Pipperall Way. Did you see anything suspicious at this location last night or did you see anyone acting suspiciously in the general area of Pipperall Way last night? Please ring 101 and ask to speak to Haverhill Police. Thirdly and lastly today, there's been another recent increase in intelligence coming into the police relating to London drug gangs coming to Haverhill to try to sell Class A drugs. What usually happens is these drug gangs approach and identify young, vulnerable and easily led young kids from Haverhill. Uh, they then persuade or pressure them to sell Class A drugs for them in the town. Occasionally they'll also take over the house of a vulnerable person in town and they'll sell drugs directly from that address. We've been receiving lots of intelligence from the public over the last three or four weeks which has been helpful in allowing us to carry out um, successful drug warrants in Haverhill. At a recent warrant we recovered nearly a hundred deals of class, what I believe to be class A drugs from inside the underpants of a vulnerable young man that had been pressured into selling drugs. Linked to this drug dealing, there's also been an increase in violence uh, carried out by some of the young people that, that are involved in the drug dealing. Uh, they're all, all these low level drug dealers, mainly from Haverhill and the surrounding area, uh, are all vying to try and sell drugs to a small uh, pool of class A drug, drug addicts within the town. In response to this, we've started a new operation in Haverhill aimed at targeting both the higher level drug dealers from, from outside the area, mainly from London, who are bringing the drugs into town, but also aimed at targeting the lower level um, drug dealers from, from this town um, who are taking the drugs from them and then selling them to the addicts. We're extremely keen to, hit, to gather any information we can from people uh, in town who know who might be selling drugs in Haverhill, particularly Class A drugs, or who might be involved in any violence um, between the, the drug dealing community in Haverhill. If you can call 101 and ask to speak to PC Mike Potter from the Haverhill SNT, that would be extremely helpful. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep you updated over the next few weeks as to how, how this operation is progressing and any successes that we have to try and combat um, both the drug dealing and also the violence linked to drug dealing in Haverhill. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.